introduced to the Socket Rocks. <laughs> Sierra is out. Sierra was about to take out Tony Abizzo, Hollywood's boyfriend. He got, Haley J got them intentionally disqualified from that soccer rock shot deliberately in front of the referee. I gotta tell you, not only is Hollywood Haley J beautiful, she's also intelligent. What a brilliant move right there. And Your winners, look at her holding out the OBW Women's of Championship the disqualification, Luscious Lawrence and Sierra. Luscious Lawrence and Sierra pick up the win in this tag team main event, but they don't look like winners right now. Hollywood, Haley J, and Tony Bizzo. Reprehensible, immoral, disgusting. So many negative terms you can say about this couple, but tonight you can call them losers by, by their own accord. Introducing first, he is from Denver, Colorado, Viking Roger Mathis. I am the god of Roger Mitten, by the way, to open up OBW, a big, big bad man. But first, let's take a look at some good, good little kids. OBW had the privilege of hanging out with the dream with Wings campers earlier this week. Let's go ahead and take it to the OBW roster, hanging out with dreams with Wings. I am the OPW Heavyweight Champion, um, and I've, I've done a lot of hard work to get to where I am. Put forth the work, and you have the drive and the determination. Literally, there's nothing you can't do. And his opponent, he is from Nassau, the Bahamas, and he is the OPW Heavyweight Champion, Omar Amin. Close to Omar here, the OVW heavyweight champion. But she is Omar Mir, not just a heavyweight champion here in OVW. He's a champion human being. He was one of the key speakers at the Dreams of Wings campers thing we did this afternoon. And she did, the kids just absolutely loved him. And Omar lit up oh. talking to these kids and oh. I don't think Roger Mitten is impressed. Roger Mitten trying to light up Omar Amir. Roger Mitten throwing the mittens here in the beginning, if you will. Look at this behemoth of a man, Roger Mitten. He's a big, bad dude, Shannon. And how terrible would it be for all these kids out here ringside to see their hero, Omar Amir, Ooh. get defeated out here at the hands of Roger Mitten. How great would that be? Well, I think they just saw some sands from the Bahamas chopped out of him, Roger Mitten. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, my God! Do you see the air Omar Amir got on that? Oh! Omar Amir feeling it after that meeting with the Dreams with Wings kid. He's out here to impress. He's out here to show them they can achieve anything they set their mind to, just like he told them earlier. Whoa! Belly to belly suplex! He may have gotten dropped on his head there. That hurt me just watching it. Look out! Whoa! Oh. Crashing to the corner there. Omar Amir coming like a house of fire. Shannon. Roger Mint, again, I can't stress this enough. This is a big man that Omar Amir is taking to right oh. Wow! Samoan drop. You know what? Bahamian drop. Bahamian drop. Omar Amir is, yeah, he is. He's feeling it right now. He's, he's trying to put Roger Mitten away. Can he do it? Omar Amir looking for a big island time. Can he put it away? Oh, Spines it, Pine. There we go, Roger Mitten. Here's 
here's your winner, Omar Amir. Omar Amir making quick work of Roger Minton. What an OVW heavyweight champion. Again, Shannon, the crowd loves him, the kids love him. Omar Amir, again, not just a heavyweight champion, he's a heavyweight champion of a human being. What is he doing? He's coming out here to celebrate. Omar Amir coming out here celebrating with the fans at ringside. You see the fans come to their feet for the OVW heavyweight champion. Omar Amir, a hell of a champion. I'm so proud for him to represent OVW. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now have you been fired from your job? Do you now need affordable family health insurance? Want coverage as fast as tomorrow? We have it. Affordable family health insurance with no long-term commitments and flexible payments. Medical bills can add up overnight. Could you afford that right now? Now is the time to get the health insurance benefits you need at an affordable fixed monthly cost. Call now to lock in your low monthly rate. Oh, what a beautiful day the Lord has made. Uh, I will rejoice and be glad in the Can I get a yay, man? Once again, huh, I'm here to bring you the good word. Brought to you by America's Reverend, huh, the chosen one, huh, the blessed one, huh, the man whose hand is guided huh, by the big man's hand upstairs. Now you see, I've been coming out here delivering the good word, and it seems like I keep getting interrupted. And let, yeah. And last time, a certain bully came out and tried to bully me. <laughs> However, he was in for a little surprise, so I thought this week, my guest today is gonna be none other than the Indian Lion. Mahabali Shira! Mahabali Shira, the good guest on The Good Word this week, Shannon. And the last few weeks, we've seen Shira having issues with Cashel, of all people. These guys trying to prove who the real king of this OVW jungle is, and Shira says it's the lion. I don't think that Shira has any good words in him that can come out of that mouth. They're all bad. Are you just saying that because he almost put you through the mat? Like a chain garnish? I don't want to think about that. Let's wander under the bridge. Come on over here. Give it up to Mahabali Shira! Now. I called you out here, brought you on the good word because I'm here to thank you. On behalf of all the boys in the back, on behalf of the congregation here, on behalf of myself, on behalf of the announce team, the concession team, we're all here to thank you for help putting it in to our bully situation. Not me. Thank you, Ronnie. I love respect. Respect is everything for me. You know what? Because I saw someone who dis dis disrespecting the people who back there, the people who working really hard for OVW. And the most important thing, he disrespecting all of this fan. I want to remind him, this is the my jungle. And I will not let him to do this with all of this my people. So Cash, if you think you're man enough, you can see 
I am here right now. If you see, you can have that kind of strength. You are man enough. You can face me. I am here, and I promise I will do what I have to do to protect all of these people from you. Uh oh, oh that's asking you shall receive. This guy's low. Yeah. The two well-dressed men both know bad intentions. Cash flow. Taking offense to the words of me and the alliance. Of course, where cash flow goes, the mess by the master, John Fastcraft, not far behind. Please, the East End villain, get it right. He's a man of many names, all of them menacing. Josh Fastcraft. Hold on now, cash better. flow. Oh, you know we don't want any fist to cups, huh? And violence here on the good word. Hey, there's not gonna be any fist to cuffs. Let me explain something to you which you seem to pass up. I'm not a bully. I'm not a bully. I don't cheat. I don't pick on people that can't pick back. Man, didn't I see you chase Eric down like he was a little boy from Lord of the Flies the other day and take a microphone? Didn't I see that? Maybe you're blinded by the money in your collection plate. Look, you can come out here and say what you want. You might be the Indian lion. These might be your people, and you might claim that this is your jungle. But let me explain something to you. I am a professional athlete, OK? I come out here. To me, it's all about the money, Shira. Let me show you something. See this? Whoa. You see this? This is what guys like you strive for. This is what all these people strive for. I'm a professional athlete. What I do, I do for money. So. Week in and week out, you want to stick your nose in my business? I got a challenge for you. Yeah, it's not your challenge, it's my challenge. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to challenge you. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to have ourselves an arm wrestling competition. Yeah, let's see that. Arm wrestling competition. I'm gonna test your mental fortitude, and I'm gonna test them little sticks you got hanging off your shoulders. What do you think? Are you gonna accept my challenge? Yeah, what do you say to that, Shira? Oh, uh-oh. I don't know if you need to take a shirt off to arm wrestle, uh -oh. but I think Shira's stepping up to any challenge Cashflow has. I accept your challenge. I can face you right here, and I will rip your arm off in front of all these people tonight, right here, no. Right Shira now. is ready. He's ready to arm wrestle Cashflow. Not only that, he's ready to Wait rip his arm off. Well, I mean, Cashflow hasn't even stretched yet. I don't think we can do this right now. Right here tonight. Cashflow, Shearer, arm wrestling competition. Now, can I get a yay man? Cashflow and Josh Ashcraft's faces tell the story of men who made a mistake. Amen. I understand we're going to the back with Tony Bizzo and Hollywood Haley J. Ladies and gentlemen, my guests at this time, one half of tonight's main event, Tony Bizzo and OVW women's champion. Yeah, Hollywood let me stop Haley you right there because they I heard that the women's champion was being handcuffed to the ring. And I just don't feel like the women's champion deserves to be handcuffed to the ring. I mean, I am a champion. Are you a champion? At this point, I feel like you're a cop because you getting me tied up. I already been tied up. I don't want to be tied up no more. You understand me? So I, I don't really, I don't, I don't, I just, it's not clicking for my brain as to why Mr. Al Snow wants to tie me up like I'm a criminal or something. I ain't did nothing this whole time. Luscious is the one that should be handcuffed to the official. Why me? Why? Why? Why me? Tell me. Oh, you don't got nothing. Let me taste up, Bizzo. I'm not getting handcuffed, no, nothing. 
see the superstars of OVW Wrestling live when they come to your town. Oh my God! OVW Heavyweight Champion Cash Flow and the Legacy of Brutality. Do I look like the gaming can? Omar Amir. Oh. OVW Super Heavyweight Dimes. Dustin Jackson. A man of the people. And many more. That's gotta be it. Log on to OVWrestling.com to find out when we're coming to your town. Don't miss the superstars of OVW live. Self being in the ring, want to be the next superstar in wrestling? You need to learn the right way. Do it by attending the Harvard of Pro Wrestling and Sports Entertainment, OVW, and the Al Snow Wrestling Academy. Our past students include movie stars like John Cena and Dave Bautista, top wrestlers like Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and The Miz, vice presidents like Cody Rhodes, and Hall of Famers like Mark Henry and Beth Phoenix. Want to be in that kind of company? Visit alsnowacademy.com and apply today. Ladies and gentlemen, royalty, the king of the House of Luscious, Luscious Lawrence himself. How are you doing tonight? That's right, Linda. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most luscious of them all? And you know, they say the freaks come out at night. Well, Tony, Haley, you guys take the cake because tonight is going to get freaky, baby. You know why? We bringing out the handcuffs. And you know, this is not the first time I've seen Haley handcuffed. Then there was a couple times she got arrested, but we won't talk about that. But tonight is going down. Luscious, Bizzo, Haley, handcuffs. It's going to get weird. And at the end of the night, everybody's going to be throwing up the hearts, throwing up the L's, and screaming, Luscious, Luscious, Luscious. Woo! Here we go. Let's get to the main event. All right, folks, it is time again for the Money Move of the Week. Sponsored by Gary C. Johnson, we go for the money. All the money. Let's go ahead and see the Money Move of the Week. Tony Gunn looking impressive, as always, here tonight. Big chop. Taking its toe off the side. Tony Gunn comes with the best way he does, drinking whiskey and kicking butt. But right now, you're all side rolling, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Are you serious? Wait, what, 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 what the hell did that come wait from? Wait a minute. What just happened? <laughs> what? Uh, Oh my God. I, don't think, I don't think that was, that was a fast count. That can't happen. That cannot happen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That's a heck of a interesting nice first. Look at right there. From Columbus, Ohio, Damien Chambers. I'm hearing another guitar. You got me. Wait a minute. Okay, Damian Chambers' opponent is Ryan Howard. Are you kidding me? Is he in the back buddy? I know that tone anywhere. Listen to that guitar tone. Listen to how sweet that sounds. That is, without a doubt, unmistakably, the sounds of the plane of wrestling rock star Ryan Howe. He just played his opponent's entrance. How great is that? That's legendary. Legendarily terrible, yes. That's exactly what it was. You watch your mouth. And his opponent. From Rock City, Florida, Rockstar Ryan Howe! Come on, Tennyson, you know you love it! There's a thin line between love and hate, Shannon, and nah, I hate it. Going to the other neck. These people out here don't appreciate good music. Look at her. Look at, look at this crowd sticking their finger in their ears. They took time out of their day to make those signs to let him know they hate him. That's passion. That's a great guitar. Look at that. He broke the string. He broke the string and he did run. The good thing is, Al Snow's got to owe Ryan how much. Hey. That's the only way he's booked every week. He's got 17 more strings. That's the great thing about it. He's got a 12 string and a 6 string. One. 17 more, then we can go home. Yeah! Do it, Ryan, do it! Or don't. You don't have to. You really don't have to. This is my, my favorite time of OBW TV every single week when we get to listen to Ryan Howe rocking out right here for everybody in the Davis Arena. To the catch-up popsicle in Alaska. Who the hell asked for this? Me! Me, I did! Yeah! Uh, if you listen closely to these guitar 
literally, if you can slowly hear my soul leave my body. Shut up, Tennyson. Would you talk over Metallica? Would you talk over the Rolling Stones? Would you talk over ACDC? Of course you would. Shut up and show some respect for wrestling rock star right now. Normally, I would say how grateful I am for the fantastic sound equipment and light from DC Productions. That was just the first track off the new album. They've, oh. He's got 20 more. Oh, well, I bet they're all cliffs of Dover, and it's just, I'm gonna jump off each one of those cliffs. Come on, this is ridiculous. Why do we book Ryan Howard every week? This is. He's, I know he's a fantastic athlete, Shannon, I get that, but he's got oh, Al Snow owes him money or something, right? That's why Hal's here every week. No, he's here because the people demand it. The people love watching Ryan Howe wrestle, but they love even more rock and roll. They love Ryan Howe's guitar performances, just like I do. I've never wanted to move to a town like the one in Footloose where they didn't allow like dancing and rock and roll, but I am so close right now. Uh, you know, I was gonna talk about Damian Chambers because Damian Chambers is a fantastic athlete. Al Snow even said this guy is one hell of an athlete. And right now he's facing off against a former OVW heavyweight champion in Ryan Howe. Next time you have an urge to leave, don't fight that urge, Kennison. <laughs> Look at this, look at Ryan Howe. Oh. Howe had that scatter, there's that ring awareness, that veterinship, and take a little bit too much time to showboat here, and Damian Chambers looks unimpressed. I don't think Damian Chambers and the vast majority of this audience do want to rock and roll, but I do think Damian Chambers would love to pick up a win over former OVW heavyweight champion in Ryan Howe. I, I think Damian Chambers is a groupie. I think the only reason he signed on to this match was to hear Ryan Howe play music. What are these people saying? They're saying Ryan sucks, Shannon. That's what they're saying. You know, I, I, I've never thought about jumping the uh, barricade and becoming an audience member, I, I, but I, I, I feel I think, like I understand I, I, it. I think they're saying Ryan rocks. And they want to hear some more rock and roll. I, I, God, please don't ask for more rock and roll. Chambers back into this, wrenching that arm of, of Hal. And again, Shannon, as much as, as I don't like Hal's antics, he is a fantastic competitor. Look at this yeah, string. Cut Damian Chambers out of midair. Oh. Ooh. He dropped it just like he dropped the beat a few minutes ago. Atomic drop hit a bit of a <laughs> low note, if you will. Yeah. Damian Chambers may be singing a high C after this oh, one. Oh. Kick to this midsection there. A little bit low, though. Might have been a kick Look to the that. D string. Yeah. Damian Chambers looking frustrated, a little flustered here. Ryan Howe looking like he's having a good time. Get your heart out, Angus Young. I tell you, if Damian Chambers keeps this up, there's not gonna be a backstage pass for him. You know, I don't think that's gonna hurt his feelings. You know, he can give it to you. You can go, you know, go ahead and go get him a pie. So when you go backstage, Ryan Howe has Oh, look at this. Be... Ooh, scoop slam. Right, nobody invites you to anything. Nobody invites you backstage. Ooh. Nobody invites you to their parties. So you don't know anything about VIP. Look out. Just, oh, I don't want to be invited. I want to stay at home with my fiance and my beagle. When I do get invited, I don't want to go to a Ryan Howe concert, though. I don't Ryan. Ryan. Oh, I don't want to go to his tour bus or his 98 Chevy Cavalier as he is. What do you mean? Damian Chambers fighting back into this. Ryan Howe might be in trouble. Can you imagine what this would mean for Damian Chambers to beat an OVW veteran, a former champion? Ryan Howe has a tour bus with a line about a mile long of women just lining up to meet wrestling's rock star. Jen, I think that was the line of your restraining orders outside trying to make sure you know about it. Damian Chambers knees to the corner there. Hell might be in trouble. That might be enough. One, two, ooh. Oh, that's not gonna be close enough to beat Ryan Howe. Now, Shannon, You're gonna need a lot more than that. Damian Chambers relatively new here to OVW, but he's a fantastic competitor. I've been following this kid's career for a little bit. He is a fantastic professional wrestler. And right now, he's taking it to Ryan Howe, trying to prove OVW management he belonged in the black and yellow ring. Uh-oh. High risk maneuver here. Damian Chambers looks like he's gonna fly. Oh, Chambers! Oh. oh, no, no, they said he can't play Freebird on that one. Yeah, Ryan House wanted, away. Ryan House wanted Damian Chambers away, just like I saw him do one of those groupies outside earlier tonight. Look at this. Oh, oh. Ryan Howe, that neck breaker, that might be enough. That might be sending Damian Chambers back to the I chamber. I think that's it, I think that's it, yes! Yes! Does this mean we can Your hear winner, rock and roll? Rock star, Ryan Howe! Somebody, quick, quick, get the double neck guitar. Don't do it. Don't, don't give anyone, don't, no one give him his guitar. You yeah, know what, yeah, it's, yeah. it's missing. It's been stolen. Don't no listen. one has it. Gosh, there we go. Don't. Yeah. Plug that baby Why in. Why are you doing this, Eric? Plug that baby in and turn it up to 11. The people demand more rock and roll. Don't you give him a Spinal Tap reference. He does not deserve it. Here we go. Shut up, Kennison. We're about to rock. Oh, God, somebody have my aspirin. Children's aspirin or Tylenol, please. Yeah. 
Here we go. Come on, clap along. I Sing along what, if you know the words. Come on, everybody. Here we go. This. We're rocking out with Ryan Helm. This is great. Yeah. Coffee. The tag division. It's clouded by judgment. You've got the guys that only care about the fans' admiration. They also care about capitalism with their little little child toys and their child cards that they seem to want to play all the time. You see, and that's exactly what's wrong. What's wrong with OVW. And that's why guys like me and you, we need to show everyone what we are really about. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. Let's go. Oh, oh my God, the bell, what's you Gustavo go. doing out here? Wait a minute. Gustavo coming out here to save JDX. Oh, those crutches made a slam across the midsection of Damone. He's not medically cleared. What is he doing out here? Gustavo not medically cleared to compete, but he's medically compared to kick Damone Silvino's butt with those crutches. Gustavo just going to town on Damon Silvino, getting some re recompense and revenge for these last several weeks. What a low life that Gustavo is, using a weapon. The Honduran sensation, the Honduran heartthrob is on fire right now. He wants, he doesn't want a piece of Damon. He wants the whole damn thing. Nephilim, you better watch out, because your wings are about to get punched by Gustavo. Wow, folks, that was the Wing Zone Zinger move of the week now. We know coming up on August 28th, we have OVW Reckoning on the way. Tickets are on sale now for the next big Saturday Night Special. We don't have the card quite yet, but we can tell you, at OVW Reckoning, heads will roll. And tonight, though, we're going to have heads rolling in our main event, Shannon Luscious Lawrence goes one-on-one -on -one with Tony Bizzo with Harley Hood Haley J, the OVW Women's Champion, handcuffed at ringside. What's up with that? I mean, I can tell you, this is the first time that Harley Hood Haley J has ever had handcuffs on. That's never happened before. It will happen tonight, though. I'm not going to comment on that, but I'm going to say, Linda, tell him who's fighting. Oh, Eric, tell him who's fighting. The following contest is an arm wrestling match. Introducing first, with the East End villain, Josh Ashcraft, Cash Flow. I got a little zealous saying, asking Eric to tell him who was fighting. It's not a fight, it's an arm wrestling competition. Cash Flow laid out the challenge to Amaha by this year on the good word, and she are more than happy to accept. And his opponent, the Indian Lion, Mahabali Shira. What do you think took him so long? I think he was having second thoughts. Jen, I couldn't tell you, but I gotta ask, you don't have to take off your shirt for an arm wrestling competition, but my, oh my, does it not get a lot more intimidating when Shira ripped that tank top off? Here we go. Shear sitting down, ready for this competition. You mentioned earlier, Shear was apprehensive. It looks like Cash Flow is the one maybe second guessing. Oh, come on, please. You really don't think that Cash Flow is second guessing uh, uh, an arm wrestling 
match against Mahabali. Sure, do you? Is that what you think? Yeah, because mean, if that's what you think, I'm going to tell you what I know, and that's that cash flow is not afraid of anybody. Shane, you can say about cash all you want, but Shira fears no man, fears no obstacle, fears no monster. I think cash flow, I, I think he forgot the stretch. You got to make sure you get there, there you go. See, exactly. Cash flow delaying the inevitable here. Wants no piece of Mahabali here, and he knows that the proprietor of the chop shop put a close sign on the door. You know, Cash Flow is, uh, he's got a lot of money to make here in OBW. He wouldn't want to tear anything and be out of action because of an arm wrestling match, oh, arm would, wrestling contest. He wouldn't want to get embarrassed by Mahabali here in the middle of the ring. That is not going to happen. I can tell you that Shira, you know, he wanted this arm wrestling match, arm wrestling contest. He would never challenge Cash Flow to are an you, actual wrestling are you match. you kidding me? This Wait is Cash Flow's idea. Tell these people to shut up. We need silence out here. Cash Flow's trying to concentrate, and these idiots won't shut up. Cash Flow might be rethinking his decision to challenge here to this arm wrestling competition. Kittison, these are your people. Make them be quiet. Shannon, these OVW fans can do whatever they want. They pay for their ticket, and they pay to have their opinions voiced. You, along with all these people, share a brain cell. Here we go. Here we go, locked up. up. Here, Here we go. go. Hold on. Let's, let's make it official. Cash Flow breaking the hole. What, are you sure that Shira didn't break that? Are you kidding me? I think, look, Shira, he stood up. Shira stood up. He was sitting down. Now he's, now he's standing up. Jen, I know Shira, you're a radio guy. You're all about audio. But visually, do you have problems seeing? Because Shira, Shira had a loose grip right there. You know, like when you shake somebody's hand, you're supposed to have a nice, tight hand grip. But, I yeah. think Shira gave Cash Flow the dead fish handshake. I, I think you got a loose grip because Cash Flow is all sweaty and nervous and scared. If that anything, that's what's fishy, Shannon. You look at the look at the sweat stains on Cash Flow's shirt. He is nervous. He's not nervous. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's make sure it's official. Hold on. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's on. Cash Flow face turning beat red, pushing as hard as he can. Maha Bali Shear, look at the look at the arm just rippling there. <laughs> look at the power. These guys not moving an inch. Look at Cashflow's face. He's turning into a beat, Shannon. Uh, I, I think Cashflow's gonna win. Look at that. Oh no. Shira takes it right back to midway. Look at the fear in Ash in Ashcraft's face and Cashflow's face. Look at the, That's not look at fear. The, look, look at, at this. The, That's confidence. Come on, Cashflow. On, on Shira's face, yes, confidence, determination, grit. I, can't, I think Shira's using that other hand for momentum. There's panic. Oh, oh There's no. panic. Hey. Oh, what? Cash flow won. What the hell? Cash flow pulls the hair of Shira, toss to the table. Referee throwing out this arm wrestling challenge. Why is he throwing it out? It's clear who the winner was. It was Cash flow. Cash flow was not the winner. Cash flow not looking uh -oh. like the winner now either. No. Oh. Maha Bali Shira, the Indian Lion pissed off. No, no. Somebody tell Shira this is an arm wrestling contest, not a wrestling match. Josh Ashcraft trying to get physically involved. Hold on, he tossed that chain to Cash Flow. My body Shira didn't see that chain, but he's about to see it. I have a feeling up close and personal. Shira, turn around. Oh, oh my God. Cash Flow, that steel chain to the face of my body Shira. This entire contest has come unchained. It's not a contest anymore, it's a mugging. And we know from Chain Carnage just a few weeks ago what Cash Flow can do with those chains. Right now he's raining down right hands on Mahabali Shira. Mahabali Shira is in a crumpled pile, Shannon. We've never seen the Indian Lion like that. Cash Flow, just a vicious attack with that chain. Well, at least we found out who won the arm wrestling contest. It was Cash Flow. Oh, slipped on those dress shoes you were talking about, Shannon. There again, there's that sweat, that nervousness from Cash Flow from facing Shira. Oh, 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 Frog Splash! Oh, oh. Wow. All the water goes out of the pond with that Frog Splash. The size, the momentum of Cash Flow raining down on the midsection of Mahabali Shira. The Indian Lion must be sore, must be in trouble, Shannon. What an arm wrestling match. Cash Flow victorious. Cash Flow devious, nefarious, but not victorious. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. 
Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now have you been fired from your job? Do you now need affordable family health insurance? One coverage as fast as tomorrow? We have it. Affordable family health insurance with no long-term commitments and flexible payments. Medical bills can add up overnight. Could you afford that right now? Now is the time to get the health insurance benefits you need at an affordable fixed monthly cost. Call now to lock in your low monthly rate. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and Hollywood Haley J will be handcuffed to an OVW official. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the OVW Women's Champion, Hollywood Haley J. He is the complete package, Tony Bizzo. Tony Bizzo and Hollywood Haley J, the OVW Women's Champion, making their disgusting way to the ring, Shannon, again. Penicillin stock prices skyrocketing every time they reach your screen. And what? Hollywood Haley J does not want to be chained up, Shane, which is weird because Lawrence told me super into it. But apparently, Hollywood Haley J does not want to be handcuffed. And tonight. why should she be handcuffed? She didn't commit a crime. She is a, a perfect, upstanding citizen and the OVW Women's Champion. Well, she can be upstanding next to an official tonight, Shane, and no more soccer rocks. And his opponent from Thunder Island. Mr. Juicy in the bag, Luscious Lawrence. Ugh, that's disgusting. Ladies love Luscious Lawrence. Mr. Juicy in the bank, and I don't know the exchange rate on juice to dollars, but I gotta think you're paying top dollar for Luscious Lawrence, the king of the House of Luscious. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit after seeing that. Oh, I thought that was because of the smell from Lorna or from Bizzo in Hollywood. You watch your mouth, Kennison. Oh, I am. I don't want to live near it. Quite the disgusting duo, these two. Hollywood, Haley Jane, Tony Bizzle, but you can't argue with their success. Disgusting Both duo. Them. Don't be talking about Luscious Lawrence and that random fan out there kissing him on the cheek. Oh, no. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about the terrible twosome of Tony Bizzo and Hollywood, Haley Jane. But, Shannon, again, these two have been more successful with each other in their corner. Hollywood, Haley Jane ascended the OVW Women's Division, held on to the championship. Tony Bizzo has picked up win after win after win, still in the OVW in the Kentucky Heavyweight Title Tournament, sponsored by Country Boy Bruin. Absolutely. That is still going on. Oh, look at oh. Hollywood Haley J is incensed, Shannon. She is furious. She does not want to be handcuffed. But she shouldn't have to be. Maybe it's because she's not used to being handcuffed and not being thrown in the back of a car afterwards. Well, you, usually when Hollywood Haley J has handcuffs on, they're glow in the dark and they have pink fur. These don't have either one of those. That's disgusting, Shannon. I bet those also smell very bad. Those, those handcuffs I imagine you just described smell like a wet dog that's been left at the dump. I think Hollywood Haley J is trying to tell Bizzo that She's not going to be handcuffed. The referee saying, if you don't get out, I'm going to disqualify Tony Bizzo. She's up to nine. Hollywood Haley J gets out right before he gets disqualified. Tony Bizzo. Luscious Lawrence taking it to Bizzo here in the middle. But Haley J now finally looks like referee Charlene here trying to get those cuffs on Hollywood Haley J. I haven't heard the bell yet. I mean, is this match official or is it only official when they get the handcuffs on Hollywood? And I'd imagine due to the stipulation, it's not going to be official until that bell rings. It's not going to ring until Hollywood gets those handcuffs on. Now, where's Lawrence going? What is he doing? Lawrence at ringside. Hey. Oh. Don't get you him. dare put your hands on her. Luscious Lawrence. Grinding she's she's, she's not your woman anymore, Luscious. Get it out of your head. Luscious backing down Haley J, trying to get her. We all know that Hollywood Haley J lives in Luscious Lawrence's mind rent free. He just there can't stop go. thinking about her. Referee Charlene got those handcuffs on. Haley J is cuffed to a referee ringside, and Tony Bizzle will use the distraction to attack Luscious Lawrence from behind. Mm. Lawrence throwing to the apron there, and Tony Bizzo now in control of this matchup, Shannon. Who would have thought that? They're, they're, who would have thought there would have been a distraction with Hollywood Haley J getting handcuffed? Look Tony at her. Bizzo would capitalize. I mean, again. She does not deserve this. 
That's no way to treat the OVW Women's Champion to put her out here handcuffed to a referee. Jim, after weeks and weeks and weeks of Hollywood Haley J beating anybody she could with the Soccer Rocks, yes, this is what should happen. Oh, spine buster. And what is happening to Luscious Lawrence is exactly what he deserves, courtesy of the hands of Tony Bizzo. Tony Bizzo feeling it, feeling aggressive. And you got to think, Hollywood Haley J has been ripping Tony Bizzo apart in the back all night from what I understand, Shannon. You got to think, he's frustrated, he's upset, he feels belittled, he wants to take that frustration and anger out on Luscious Lawrence. And he's doing it right now. You're seeing him with those vicious right hands, just laying him in, just unloading on Luscious Lawrence. Tony Bizzo is on a whole different plane right now, Shannon. Hollywood Haley J, while decrepit and terrible, has elevated Tony Bizzo to a point that he was not at before she came around. There's a new confidence, a new swagger, and a new win streak with Tony Bizzo. No doubt about it. And look at Bizzo, man. He is looking fantastic out here right now. Back body you know, drop has Luscious Lawrence favoring that lower back. You know that Tony Bizzo would like to have a little gold to go along with Hollywood Haley J's gold. They could be a real power couple here in OVW. Not that they're not already, but I'm just saying, you know, throw nasty titles. You're, you're right, Shannon. They are a powerfully smelly couple. You're hey. absolutely right. Hollywood Haley J, her gold right now, complimented by Silver. Those handcuffs, Hollywood Haley J outside, handcuffed to Charlene because of all the previous sock of rocks, all the previous interferences. Tony Bizzo and Luscious Lawrence finally in a one on one match that you could arguably call fair. Who's got the key to those handcuffs? I don't know. I'm not really concerned about that. Well, I am. I think Luscious Lawrence needs to, be, needs to be concerned of his own well-being because Tony Bizzo Tony. is beating the hell out of him right now. Tony Bizzo choking, choking Luscious Lawrence on that middle rope, taking out the airways. Luscious Lawrence, a big guy, big top-heavy guy. Those breaths become heavy in labor when those air passages get cut off, Shannon. Keeps the midsection there. Bizzo feeling it. I mean, what a scoop slam, Tony Bizzo. Let's just talk about how Tony Bizzo has dominated this match from the very beginning. Tony Bizzo has been very impressive, Shannon. Used that distraction when Hollywood Haley J was getting the handcuffs put on to attack to Luscious Lawrence from behind. Come over here, Haley. I'll get you undone. Yeah. Hollywood Haley J is furious at ringside, folks. Absolutely furious. Oh, here we go, such a flip. That might be enough. Luscious Lawrence. Bizzo kicks out at two, Shannon. That wasn't even close, Kennison. Oh, oh God! What a clothesline! Look at the intensity on Tony Bizzo's face, trying to get, trying to show off for his lady. I think again, working off a little bit of that frustration from being yelled at for the last hour over something he can't control in Hollywood. Haley J being handcuffed at ringside. No half, no fury, like a woman scores. Ooh. Tony Bizzo knows that, and I think he's trying to prove right now that he can win this match without the help of Hollywood Haley J. And I think it's Hell Hath No Fury like Haley J scorned. Oh, two. That's it. Oh. Uh, Lawrence gets the arm up at 2.8. Are you sure that wasn't three? Shannon, it, it was darn close. Normally, you don't see a count like that without the bell ringing, but Luscious Lawrence able to get up at the very last second. Now, toss to the outside. Bizzo in control here, taking a little bit too much time to close. Wait a minute. Did, wait. Did you just see that? Haley J trying Haley to get J. involved. Referee not allowing her to move. Folks, this main event rolls on. We'll be right back with more OVW action. This is not fair. See the superstars of OVW Wrestling live when they come to your town. Oh, my God. OVW heavyweight champion Cash Flow and the legacy of brutality. Do I look like the game he Omar Amir. Oh. OVW super heavyweight Dimes. Dustin Jackson. The man of the people. And many more. That's got to be it. Log on to OVWrestling.com to find out when we're coming to your town. Don't miss the superstars of OVW live. Self being in the ring, want to be the next superstar in wrestling? You need to learn the right way. Do it by attending the Harvard of Pro Wrestling and Sports Entertainment, OVW, and the Al Snow Wrestling Academy. Our past students include movie stars like John Cena and Dave Bautista, top wrestlers like Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and The Miz, vice presidents like Cody Rhodes, and Hall of Famers like Mark Henry and Beth Phoenix. Want to be in that kind of company? Visit alsnowacademy.com and apply today. Folks, we are back. This main event has rolled on. Tony Bizzo in control throughout the break. Really taking it to the king of House of Luscious, beating the shutters of the House of Luscious, Shannon. Absolutely. Tony Bizzo has never looked more impressed or more impressive or more focused than he is right now. Just beating the hell out of Luscious Lawrence. 
Shane, it, it, if you notice, Tony Bizzo hasn't been going for the win. He's just been wanting to throw more fists and inflict more pain on Luscious Lawrence. I think part of it is to appease Holiday Day the J. But like I said before, ooh, huge close on. Tony Bizzo working off some frustration from being yelled at all night by Holiday Day the J for having to be handcuffed. He, Tony Bizzo right now, like I, I think he's also sort of sending a message to everybody else back there in the locker room. Shane, you're absolutely right. I mean, Tony Bizzo still in that Kentucky Heavyweight title tournament sponsored by Country Boy Brewing. You got to think he wants to send a, send a message to the rest of those competitors. Absolutely. Lawrence trying to fight back into this, but Tony Bizzo has done quite a bit of damage at this point. Look at Bizzo! Power slam! Lawrence's hair's a little disheveled, but he is feeling Holly it. Holly Hill's throwing the heart up. Holly Hill's throwing a fit outside. Bizzo's throwing the heart up. Are you right? Holly Hood's throwing, throwing up a fit. Luscious Lawrence, top rope, double axe handle. Big juicy axe handle off the top rope. Did you see the elevation Luscious Lawrence got, Shannon? I saw that, but I can't keep my eyes off of Hollywood. Haley J, she's doing everything she can to get out of those handcuffs. Haley's trying to use her foot to get leverage, trying to break her wrist to get out of there. Luscious Lawrence again, top rope, Bizzo, hey, it's Bizzo caught him, Bizzo caught Bizzo, him. Bizzo bottom. Is that going to be enough? Bizzo took a little too much time. Showboat didn't go for the pin immediately. Might have cost him. Seconds, Shannon, mere seconds. This could be it. This could be it. Almost had him, Shane. You got to think had Bizzo capitalized soon after that Bizzo bottom. That would have been it. <laughs> Haley J still going crazy in the corner like she's a raccoon stuck in a trap in the backyard of my grandma's. How dare you compare the beautiful Hollywood Haley J to a raccoon? They smell the same. They have the same raggedy hair. My grandma has fought both of them. I don't know what you want me to say. Luscious You're Lawrence in trouble right now. We can ask I, about my grandma. Yeah, I, she fought Hollywood Haley J. She came here one night and I gave her free tickets and Haley ruined the entire thing. Tony Bezo choking out Luscious Lawrence on that middle rope again, Shannon, and pulling that middle rope and playing those nefarious means. Well, you can't say that Hollywood Haley J has done anything illegal. She has played it by the books out here, just like she always does. Haley Never J interferes in the match. Haley. Okay, let's a little bit of revisionist history there from Shannon and the dude, but ooh, big boot there from Luscious Lawrence. Haley J wants to get involved in and you can see it. She's been trying throughout the match. Double X handle again from Luscious Lawrence. And again. The referee it, Charlene doing a good job keeping Haley J at bay. A double X handle again, finding its mark. Right on the and, top of the head of Tony Bizzo. And Luscious Lawrence is a big, big man. Top heavy, gigantic arms. And Jen, a double X handle is a painful maneuver usually. But for someone who is as top heavy as Luscious Lawrence, bringing all that weight and all that power and strength down. I thought Luscious Lawrence was bottom heavy. All of his weight is that big old behind. He's just thick, thick with two C's. Tony Bizzo, though, beating the thickness out of Luscious Lawrence. It doesn't matter how thick you are when you're getting, look at this, look at Bizzo. Bizzo yeah. not worried about Luscious look, Lawrence look, being thick look, with two C's. Look, look at the w. women, listen to the women going crazy when Tony Bizzo got up there. I think you just heard like 13 women vomiting at the same time, so going crazy, sure. Oh, Luscious Lawrence whipped into the corner here. Tony Bizzo feeling, oh, nobody home for the European uppercut. Lawrence able to get out of the way. Again, double axe handle. Come on, Hollywood, do something. You gotta help your man. Stand by your man, Hollywood. Hollywood, Haley J can do nothing. She sit there and watch Shannon. Luscious Lawrence raining down those right hands on Tony Bizzo. See that Haley J again tries to get up on the apron. Man. Referee Charlene doing her job. What do you mean doing her job? She just stayed in there handcuffed to the, the women's champion. Oh, big uppercut there from Bizzo. Finally gets Mark on Luscious Lawrence. Haley J looks more irritated than a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. She is, she is upset, Shannon. Oh, Tony Bizzo goes for the field goal kick. And oh, here's schoolboy. Oh, Bizzo getting a clothesline onto that schoolboy pin attempt by Luscious Lawrence. And I, I have it on good authority that Luscious Lawrence has played a schoolboy in a movie before. But Tony Bizzo not worried about his movie career, worried about picking up a W here in the main event. If you want to talk about somebody with a movie career, we have to talk about Jesse Gunners, who is not here tonight, but when he is, everyone will be so impressed with him as they always are because he is, without a doubt, the greatest OVW superstar of all time. Shane, I have it on good authority that Jesse Gunners does not want to be around Hollywood Haley J. It's, it's a smell thing. I, I don't know, you've seen the writer, you know. Oh no! Oh, there we go! Speaking of smell, I don't think Bizzo's gonna like what he's smelling right now. You're, Shannon is a rock DJ, I think you'll understand when I say black hole sun. Oh! Luscious Lawrence in it now. Ooh, clothesline. We don't need that to come. <laughs> well played, Shannon. Now, now, Shannon, that move doesn't just dis doesn't just hurt when he takes you into those glutes. It disorients you. Oh, oh famous sir. Famous sir from Luscious Lawrence. If he can get a pin, that might be enough. 
I don't know if Luscious Lawrence has his whereabouts Lawrence to make taking, the cover. Lawrence taking too much damage throughout this match. Didn't have the wherewithal to go for that pin. Just getting some desperately needed breaths instead. Luscious Lawrence looking to go corner to corner. Look out. Oh! oh Tony Bizzo pulled the referee in the way. Luscious referee Lawrence. Daniel Spencer destroyed. No, 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 no. Luscious Lawrence is about to back that thing up on referee Daniel Spencer. Oh, Luscious, oh no. Luscious <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Big juice from the officiants. Oh, that'll affect your ability to count to three. Tony Bizzo, very proud of himself. Oh, double clothesline. Now what? What is our main event here? Our double clothesline. Both competitors are down. Our referee is down. WWE Women's Champion Holly Daly J going crazy. Hold on. What's Charlene doing? What is, what, is Char, what is referee Charlene doing? Charlene is handcuffing Holly Daly J to the ring post. She can't do that. I think Charlene Steppen is the new referee for this match. Wait a minute. Who died and made her ref? Haley, Jay's mouth, her draw just hit the floor. Notice that she's now, she's now handcuffed oh no. to this barricade. Oh no. Her referee Charlene taking off the apron here. Luscious Lawrence got to move up, that's enough. Count to a million. It doesn't matter. Because there's no referee that you can count as much as you want. There's no referee. Lawrence realizing there's no referee, giving the smack on the bottom a little bit there to Tony Bizzo. Doing? Waiting for a referee. Bizzo's been down for a year. He's been down for a zero count officially. And that's all that matters. There's no referee. Lawrence finally relenting that pin attempt, noticing both referees are down. Hollywood Haley J about to ring, rip the ring post down. Luscious Lawrence can only blame himself. He backed that nasty, juicy behind of his right on on Daniel Spencer's face. Shannon, those powerful glues have taken down bigger man. Daniel Spencer down for the count right now. Luscious Lawrence trying to revive him. Tony Bizzo still down at the ringside. Hold on, Haley Jane. Haley Jane got out of the, she got out of the cuffs. How the hell does she get out of the cuffs? And she's got the soccer rocks with her. She had to chew through it. Wait a minute. Hold on, Danny Moe's here. Danny Ho's here. Oh no. The new number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship. Danny Moe just speared Hollywood Haley Jane out of her stockings. What is, what is she doing out here? Danny Moe laying in forearms, Haley J at ringside. Hold on, Luscious Lawrence sitting up. One night stand power slam, that's gotta be enough. No, 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 no. Luscious Your Lawrence order, picks up the Luscious win. That brown nose referee, Daniel Spencer, I can't believe he counted the three. Luscious Lawrence picks up the big juicy win on OBW's main event.